My legacy story starts a long time ago. My grandparents and my parents uh, were always donating their time and, and my mother was in a lot of arts and education and sort of spread fairy dust all over the city. It was really a, a wonderful upbringing and so legacy was always in my heart and it was just a natural feeling that I would of course give to City of Hope since I've spent most of my life working at this wonderful place. I was 11 years old when I set up my laboratory and would bring supplies back from UCLA. I was always trying to blow up things down in that basement lab and it was a lot of fun. I am a molecular biologist by training and I take molecular tools to develop novel therapies for cancer. I'm very careful about choosing the students that join my lab. I like to choose students that are really much smarter than I am so that we can, we can really get to the next level. One of my students who graduated last June, one of the experiences that we had together was trying to finish an experiment that started at eight in the morning and ended at eight at night, and we had no break. But the next day after that, we interpreted the data and it showed that the therapy was working, that we just spent six weeks working on. Oh, that was the most exciting day of my life. I had isolated a gene when I was a student at Caltech. The patients that have really aggressive cancer have this twist gene turned on. If we can turn off the twist gene, maybe they won't metastasize. Or maybe we can reverse the resistance to some of the drugs that they become resistant to. And that's where I am today. It's turning out that's really true. Scientists, we have a lot of soul and we have a lot of desire to really improve the world in our own way. I'd like to see the therapy we've just now shown works in animals. I'd like to see it go to patients. Having it go into patients, um, I will feel that I've achieved the full circle. My mother died in 2010 of breast cancer. My sister was diagnosed in 2011 with breast cancer. I was cured of ovarian cancer. So why not give back to cancer in a way that I can make a difference? Because it's so easy. If I just made a bequest in my trust um, without telling City of Hope, I just did it. I wanted it to be a quiet bequest, but I guess it's okay if it's not. <laughs> I'm Dr. Carlotta Glacken, and I'm leaving a legacy to City of Hope. <laughs>